everyone how are you all doing today hope you're doing well my name is Cynthia if you're here for the first time you're highly welcome thank you so much guys for your support towards this channel in today's video I'm gonna be showing us how to make this otter neck dress is a flat dress is a requested video I have three years of scuba fabric my scuba fabric is very thick for the style to come out very well it's advisable to use and thick scuba fabric so I just divided it into two I'm gonna be using this for the upper part and use this for the lower part for the lower part we're gonna be making 720 degree flat I use 1.5 inches for the upper part and 1.5 inches for the lower side I will fold my fabric into two let's see if 1.5 inches will be enough but I don't want the upper part to be that full I will fold the fabric in a triangle form like so I will fold it again so it's folded into four in a triangle form I'll go ahead and place the measurement the fabric is 16 inches by length so I will place half of my shoulder measurement half of my shoulder measurement is seven and a half inches I'll mark seven and a half inches here I will mark three inches for the wideness of the neck. I will take one inch for the back depth and the three inches for the front depth. I will connect the lines. One inch for back depth and the three inches for front depth. So we go to this end here, mark one inch for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. To get the right ample measurement, I will divide the bust measurement by six plus 1.5 inches. The one I'm working with is eight inches. I'll mark 8 inches here. Because it's an otter neck, I always like to go up by 1 inch. I don't want the ampli to be open. I always go up by 1 inch. So I'll mark 8 inches here. I marked 7.5 inches for the shoulder. I will still mark 7.5 inches here. I will connect the line. I usually come up by one inch instead of marking eight inches for the random hole. I will mark seven inches. So this is eight inches, but I went up by one inch. I'll look for the midpoint of this seven inches. The midpoint of seven inches is three and a half inches. I'll go inside by three quarter of an inch. So I'll place the chest measurements right on the chest line here before marking here. The chest line is 14 inches divided by 4 is 10 inches. The fabric is very stretchy fabric, so I'm not adding sewing allowance to it. I'll mark 10 inches here. So we connect it like so. This is the back and pole right from the midpoint here. Connect it like so. I'll connect the front and pole. I will do the outer neck before taking the length of the dress. This is the neck width. Right from the neck width, I will come down by two inches. I will connect these two inches to the chest line. I will make a curve here. To the neck line. I connect it to the chest line. The length of my dress is 37 inches. The upper part is 30 inches, while the lower part is 7 inches. So I will add 1 inch to hem it at the bottom and the upper part. So right from here, I will mark 30 inches round. round. You 
place it here and take it like so. I will go ahead and cut it out. Start from the bottom side. I'm cutting out the back here. Neck. I will split this side open. I'm not adding zip to it. I only add a um, back slit. Here's the front one. I will bring it out and cut out the front neckline. Put front and back. No, I'm not sure. This is the midpoint. I'm not sure. I'll be making use of it later. No, I'm not sure. I will do the same thing for the back side. So I will take the back, notch the lower side. And then make it a slit. I will not here. I will make it about um, six inches slit as the back slit, so that the dress can easily go through the neck. So yeah, I'm done with the upper part. So we'll go ahead and measure this and use it to cut out the, the flare. I will measure what I have here and use it to cut out the flare. I have 14 inches here. The front is 14 inches and the back is 14 inches. I want the flare to be very full, the lower part. I'll be cutting out 720 degree for the front one and 720 degree for the back one. I will divide the 14 inches by two. 40 divided by two is 20 inches so i will divide 20 inches by 6.28 that's the formula for full circle flare 20 divided by 6.28 is 3.1 so it's 3.1 i'll round it to 3.2 so i will cut out two of these and two for the front one they have more fabric here i'll be using this part for the neck pants so i'll just set this aside I'll fold my fabric into two. So for the lower part, the length is seven inches. I will add one inch for sewing allowance, that is eight inches. I will add the radius to eight inches. The radius is 3.2 inches plus eight inches. That's 11.2. So I will fold my fabric into two. So make sure I have up to 11.2. So this is 11.5 inches. I will fold it so I fold it again I have my fabric folded into four I'm cutting a circle I'll make sure I have up to 11 and a half inches here also so yeah so I have more than 11.2 here so my radius is 3.2 inches I'll mark 3.2 inches round I'm marking 3.2 inches. So I will connect it. From here, I will mark my 8 inches around. Let me quiet. Let me quiet. So I'm connecting it. I'm connect it. I will cut it out. Careful. 
I'm cutting out four of these. I will use this to cut out the rest. I'm done cutting out the four flat. I will split it open. So I have four here. I will join them together. So I will join them together and stitch up this place. As I have four flat, I will take two and stitch them together. Stitch them together. So this is the front panel. I will go ahead and open it up. So this is the mid part right here. This is the mid part. We'll mark it like so. I will make two stitches here. I will make one here. And make one here. The gap will be half inch. The gap between each stitch which is half inch. I will make a stitch here and make a stitch here. I will do the same thing for the back side. I will make a stitch here. Make a stitch here. I will take a quarter of an inch and stitch it like so round. I will stitch a quarter of an inch round. This is the back slit. After I've done that, I will stitch the armhole also. I will use half inch to stitch the armhole. You can overlock it first before you stitch it. So I will stitch it here. I will hem this side and hem the front arm cord. Okay. So guys, I'm done joining the the circle. Okay. So this is two. This is for the front and the, this is for the back. After joining them together, I made a top stitch here. I made a top stitch here just to lay the seam down. So I have three stitches here. I also have three stitches here. So I made three stitches here also. I did the same thing for the front side. I've also hemmed the armhole. So I will join the double circle and the upper part together. I will make sure this top stitch are lined together. Look at the three lines I made for the upper part and the three lines I made for the lower part. I will match them together. Right side facing right side. So I will go ahead and uh, use half inch to join them together at the bottom part. I will do the same thing for the front side. So guys, I'm done joining the upper part and the lower part together. This is the back. So after joining them together, I stitch the seam. I open the seam and made a stitch on this side. I made a stitch on this side. I stitched the seam down, this side and this side. I have three stitches here now. So I did the same thing for the front side. This is the back. So I have three stitches here. And this is the front. I also have three stitches here. So I will go ahead and join the front and the back together. I will lay them against each other, right side facing right side. I make sure I match them together. I will use one inch to stitch this side and use one inch to stitch this side. Yeah, I will cut out the neck band. So to cut out the neck band, I will measure my round neckline. My round neckline is 16 inches. So I have all together the bands I want to cut out about. Um, 45 inches band because I want it very long. I want this side to be wider than the middle part. This is where we attach to the neckline. I have this six inches folded into two is three inches. And this side I have 11 inches folded into two is five and a half inches. Same on this side, five and a half inches. 
I cut it in a way that this side will be smaller than this side. So I want this side to be bold. I will look for the midpoint. This is the midpoint. The neckline is 16 inches. Divided by 2 is 8 inches. So this is the midpoint of the band. Inches. I'll mark 18 inches here. I'm going to use this for the neckline. So what I'm going to do is to stitch up this place. And they stitch this place up. You see how I cut this side. I will stitch this place up to this 8 inches and stitch this side up to the 8 inches. So I will attach this to the neckline. I'm done stitching the band. So this is 16 inches. So I will attach this to the neckline. This is the midpoint. I will take this side, attach it like so. I'll use half inch to attach it to the neckline. I will take this to the. I will take this like so. I'm taking this to the back side. I'll take this also to the back side. I will use half to stitch it round. After I've done that first stitch, I will take this and use it to cover up the first stitch. I have a gap here. I will join the gap together. I'll stitch it up like so. Do the same thing for this side. Close the gap I have on this side. I'll stitch it around. So guys, I've finished attaching the bands to the neckline. I run a double stitch here. So we are done with the dress. This is the back side. I'll knot it like so. I've come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please like and share this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.